Okay, so today we are going to be solving systems of equations when both equations are in standard form. And more specifically, this method I'm going to show you only works when the x's have the exact same coefficient. In other words, the number in front of the x's match up, or the numbers in front of the y's match up. In this case right here, the x's match up. Over here, the numbers in front of the y's match up, or if one's positive and one's negative, but the number in front of them is still the same. For example, positive seven and negative seven. All right, this method is called the elimination method. And the reason why it's called the elimination method is because you can't solve an equation when there's an x and y in it. However, if you can eliminate one variable from the equation, then you can solve for the remaining variable. And that's what we're gonna do. So for this first example, we've got five x plus eight y equals 46 and we've got 5x plus 6y equals 42. Notice, again, the number in front of the x's are exactly the same. They kind of match up, if you think of it that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the two equations and we're gonna subtract the second equation from the first equation. So we're actually taking the entire second equation and subtracting it from the first one. And here's why that, here's what will happen when I do that. Five x's take away five x's, leaves me with no x's. I've eliminated all the x's. Eight y's take away six y's, gives me two y's. My equals drops down. And 46 take away 42, gives me four. You, so you see, by subtracting the second equation from the first, all I'm left with as an equation is two y equals four. And that's an equation we can easily solve and we've completely eliminated x from the equation. That's why it's called the elimination method. All right, so let's finish solving this for y. I'm gonna divide both sides by two. When I do that, the twos undo each other. y equals two. All right, I'm halfway done. So I figured out what y is. Now to figure out what x is, I'm gonna take my value of, t of y and put it back into the original equation. And in this case, it doesn't matter which one you pick because you should get the same answer no matter what. So pick whichever one's easiest for you. All right, I'm just gonna pick the top one. So instead of five x plus eight times y, I'm gonna do five x plus eight times the value we just found for y, which is two. All right, and that should equal 46. So let's simplify this. This will become 5x plus 16 equals 46. And now I've got a second algebra equation I need to solve to figure out what x is. All right, so if I do that, subtract 16 on both sides, and these undo each other, I'm left with 5x equals 30. And then my last step, I'm gonna divide both sides by five and I'm gonna end up getting x equals six. So there we go, I have my solution now. I know that x is gonna be six, y is gonna be two, and that's the solution to my system of equations. All right, so that's the method I would use if the number in front of either the x's or the y's are exactly the same. Now. Let me show you what I do if the numbers in front of x's and, or the y's are the same except opposite signs. For example, positive seven y and negative seven y. It's very similar, but because they have opposite signs, to eliminate them, I'm not actually gonna subtract the two equations. Instead, I'm gonna add the two equations together. All right, and when I do that, here's what happens. Now the x's, three x's plus four x's, gives me seven x's. But look what happens with the y's. Positive seven y's plus negative seven y's gives you no y's. They completely eliminate each other. Drop down my equal sign, 48 plus 15 is 63. So just like before, when we subtracted the two equations, we eliminated one of the variables and it had a simple equation. This time when we add the two equations, we've eliminated a variable. We've eliminated y, and now we can solve for the remaining variable, which is x. All right, so to solve, I'm gonna divide both sides by seven. These sevens undo each other. X gives me nine. 
Okay, halfway done. Now to figure out what y is, take x, the x value, put it back into one of the original equations. I'm gonna pick the top one. So instead, three times x, I'll do three times what we just found for x, which is nine, plus seven y has to equal 48. Or if I simplify this, three times nine is 27, so this is 27 plus seven y equals 48. Okay, so if I solve this equation, I'll have y. I'm gonna subtract 27 from both sides, and uh, getting seven y is equal to 21. Last step, divide both sides by seven, and I'm left with y equals three. And now I found my solution to this system. X is nine, y is three. All right, and making sure that when you give your answer, make sure you give x first and then y. All right, so again, this is called the elimination method. And the key to this is this only works when the number in front of the x's or the y's is ex exactly the same, or they're the same numbers but opposite signs. All right, so hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, it really helps me out a lot. With that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.